Good morning, lovely people. 3.40, around 3.40 a.m. here in morning. As usual, peaceful and quiet. Yesterday was a very nice, busy day with my friends. Uh, you know, we had a nice hangout. If you are in Frackcom, Bangladesh, you'll see some of the photos that I posted. We had a very nice hangout, nice food, you know, with friends and family, our admins. So I came back and kind of tired, took a nap. And then I woke up quite fresh, had some coffee and some soup. And I thought, what should I do today? And I was actually lining up three reviews, individual reviews. I have a few fragrances to review, some samples that are uh, remaining. But I felt like, you know, let me do a list, you know. Uh, this list is going to be about designer perfumes, designer fragrances. And I thought of uh, doing something that is unique, okay. The list, the perfumes are unique as well as they are creative. What do I mean by creative? Uh, these fragrances never get me bored. I never get bored of these fragrances, one thing. They are very creative. It keeps me interested. And I always feel like I don't have anything like it. You know, at least like, you know, this fragrance concept feels like they did something different. They did not copy anybody. They did not follow a trend. They sort of like a set a trend, you know. Some of the fragrances are underrated. Some of them are really well rated. You'll see as I go, and I'll explain each and then these are not the only 15 that I have. I have many more. So for the video, I'm wearing one fragrance which is unique on its own right, but I'm not showing you that one today. Just scent of the late night is Midnight in Paris, one of the most unique looking bottles. Um, and it smells like powdery, nice little uh, sweet tonka, I think, and then a little bit of leather. Very beautiful fragrance for colder nights, but I like to wear it once in a while. It's very hard to find. Um, so... Why do I choose to do this unique fragrance? Because if you see always same old, same old, you know, like uh, the blue fragrances, YSL, YDP or Sauvage, you know, sometimes it gets you bored. You don't want to wear the same stuff. You want to wear something different. OK, so there are many fragrances which are different. So I'll tell you some of it may be love it or hate it, but they are unique. All right. OK, so creative, unique fragrances. Number one, these are in no particular order. OK, first fragrance I'm going to show you is YSL Kuros. Uh, this fragrance, I my old bottle ran out. I had about 10 ml, 15 ml. So I had to get, I heard the rumor of this one being discontinued. As a matter of fact, YSL sort of taking down the whole line. That's what I heard. So I'm like, this is my beloved fragrance. Even though I don't wear it a lot, apart from winter, I don't wear this a lot. This is a very beastly, animalic, clean and fresh. People call this urinal cake and all that. If you see the review, it's a very polarizing review. Many people love it. Many people absolutely hate it with their heart, right? Uh, the thing is something about this fragrance, it has immense power. It's floral. It's got this civet or some sort of animalic note. And it got some other things, you know, like a um, lot of notes. It's a very complex fragrance from back in the time. But this fragrance actually can sort of destroy everybody's fragrance around. And if you can wear this with confidence, you can be definitely pick up compliments. But at times it smells like butt. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll warn you. But still, it remains one of the most dirty and clean. That's the uniqueness and creativeness of this fragrance, okay? YSL Kuros, one of the best designer perfumes, almost creative ones ever made. People keep wondering about it. What is this fragrance? Should I wear this? Give it a try. Get a sample. You'll see. Second fragrance I'm going to show you, definitely this is a beauty. This is more easy going and it's one of the most uh, loved fragrance line. But usually I love the darker brother of it, the intense version. But I will show you the originator that is responsible for it. This is Dior Homme, okay? The older formulation. And the new, new Dior Homme will say Dior Homme on the bottle. That's a total different fragrance. New Dior Homme 2020 or something like it. So Dior Homme original, I don't know what's called now. It's so confusing. It started that iris, buttery iris sort of like a makeup bag and a, you metrosexual vibe, you know, very classy gentleman vibe. And this fragrance still date, you know, the performance is not the best from this. I like the intense for the performance, but this one is just the right balance of iris and the sweetness, the floral, citrus, it's beautiful play. It's like a poetry, you know, it's like poetry for me, you know. So Diorum remains one of my favorite uh, classic until now. It's now it's already classic. And it's creative and unique on its own right. Such a beauty. Okay, Diorum is one fragrance I would highly suggest if you want something different. Still, this is a niche quality juice for me. Okay, that's number two. Number three is a discontinued fragrance. I have a little bit juice left. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find old version anymore because these are very expensive, $400. But the newer version I would like to try. This is Guerlain, Lige, Lanstante Guerlain, Extreme, Purom. Okay, so I had the... First reformulation, I sadly sold them off. I didn't know the value of those. The EDT and Extreme both are amazing. I'll be honest, not everybody loves this DNA. Some people do not see what's so special about it. That cacao, you know, like the chocolate. What's so special about that? What's so great about that? Is there patchouli in there? 
man this fragrance you know at first when you spray you will not see it you know you will not see what's so great about this you know sometimes you feel like it's just a powdery cacao you know it's like a weird smell as time progresses longer it's on your skin it gets better and better and better it's i think it's a more mature version of durum intense in many ways but they are related with that chocolatey vibe definitely a fragrance always one of the best girl on ever produced and this is why it's so cherished and sought out sought out you know people look for these bottles a lot with this dark reaches so number 3 is lanston girlan or lege extreme number 4 <clears throat> dior once again dior's fahrenheit dior's fahrenheit is a fragrance even today most of the reviewers said this even if this, this was released today this would be a top seller even if it's dior or not dior because of the creativity of this fragrance that gasoline note one thing okay that uh, snowmobile or automobile that you know the smoke or the burning of the oil crude oil that the petrol gasoline smell as well as got some uh, violet leaves leather florals this has been actually cloned to death but uh, this dna i find fahrenheit to be one of the most beautiful fragrance like it's like a classic it's always evergreen you know um, really nice fragrance give it a try Uh, if you want something different unique and uh, also uh, creative okay number 5 i'm going to show you <clears throat> something the same line with it but it's from recent time some of the recent fragrances also made this list this is going to be house of gucci guilty absolute okay from the house of gucci gucci guilty absolute so this one officially have been taken down this is a discontinued one price are very high now you can buy a big bottle you can keep it but this fragrance is very love it or hate it this one has that infamous uh, detol or uh, floor uh, disinfect then you know that sort of a smell like savlon or detol you know that once you use for your cut or wound or destroy germs opening is like that very challenging and then people would ask i would ask i had this bottle i sold it i would ask myself why would i want this as an initial like op- like a new collector this fragrance perhaps doesn't have a place in your collection okay this one is so daring it's so winter like it has very dry vetiver leather some boozy notes and has that sort of that uh death all note <laughs> if i can call it that but longer you keep it then you start seeing the beauty of it once you get into a little bit more complex fragrances this is alberto morias i don't know how he did it it's one of his masterpieces okay so got the rugged leather and then the vetiver combo with that nice boozy note this is one of my most creative fragrances one of my favorites okay and the next one these are all fragrances like my favorite you don't have to feel the same way but this is next one is d squared rocky mountain wood he wood okay confusing name this let's just call it rocky mountain wood i don't know if this is still in production but many of the fragrances have changed bottles okay they have quite a few from this line different color bottle these are real wooden uh, side reminds me some of the fragrances from girland derby and some of the niche line they have this border of real wood and really nice creative fragrance it has some smoky vibe it's a uh, it's basically a fragrance for nature if you like nature if you like outdoors it sort of has that vibe of fahrenheit you know like creativity wise i think cypress or there's some note i totally forgot but this fragrance it's just so long lasting and it's just different from everything else uh, when i wear this i mean this fragrance always you know keeps me captivated okay d squared he would from back in the time okay so now we have another fragrance i think i've picked some similar fragrances is one of them this is in a way uh, got that valid leaves just like that fahrenheit also d squared he would this is from house of narciso narciso rodriguez for him edt there i have a lot of uh, flankers to it and i do personally prefer the edp uh, both or the edp is i think discontinued now but musk done in a different way gothic way you know this one is known as uh, wet pavement i'm bringing back memories most of you know this but i will just do this for newcomers who actually are interested in fragrances this hands down remains one of the most unwearable <laughs> i don't find any occasion to wear this apart from a rainy day it's a very daring dark gothic musk it's so deep you know it's like it re- reminds me of a tragedy or something that someone lost you know like their life and the very dark and that that gothic or tragic kind of fragrance but you know that rain on the way pavement you if you imagine that this fragrance gives you that okay so narciso rodriguez for him edt another one of my gems after that let's go a little bit playful uh, this fragrance it's um, this one right here is a gem you know if you like mint this is the best mint in the game in designer side this is cartier roadster and this hands down hands down of the most longest lasting weird patchouli vanilla mint you know you wouldn't imagine those combinations but this one works okay and i got compliments from it this is discontinued so is the sport the rest of the line 
if you can find it somewhere decent price get a backup and keep it you know these are some fragrance you will not find after two three years that easily and the price will be very high if you like mint most realistic unique cartier makes some beautiful juice if you like this you can try you or someone like you from uh, it at libre de orange uh, that house is a niche house more pricey but designer version this is so good this is superb okay 10 out of 10 cartier roadster they also have a watch uh, from this uh, house after that let's go vetiver isoe super and rt orange let's go ter de hermes uh, i i know i'm butchering the name but ter de hermes remains even till today just like fahrenheit i never get bored of this fragrance guys literally i like the whole line i wear sometimes out refresh which is taken down now <clears throat> sorry then i like vetiver i like sometimes the perfume and you know what else do i have i have a uh, think three or four the fifth one is out i haven't tried that one because not in bangladesh right uh, just yet but dear dear mess you know you think at first like what is this fragrance so expensive for you know in malaysia i got it it was like 500 ringgit that is like <clears throat> around 120 dollars for this of course that's retail price but in bangladesh still 100 dollars you know and you would imagine why Hermes is charging so much. One thing is performance. This is crazy performer. I see super, makes it super long lasting. And the orange, the masculinity, a little bit of powdery vibe, a little bit of peppery kick, that vetiver is just something out of this world. You know, it's a very mature scent. I, I must tell you, this is not a beginner scent. This is not like a Versace Purom or uh, CK1. You will not get it right away, perhaps, but. Once you understand it, you'll get very fond of it, okay? So TDH, it's uh, one of my favorite, belongs in this list, okay? So number 10, I think, yeah, it's gonna be, <clears throat> sorry, my voice yesterday, I had some iced coffee with my friends. Uh, so, you know, my voice is kind of broken, sounds annoying. Um, but next one is this one, Lancome Hypnos Om. So I have a review recent times, a cologne or summer version, I forgot that one, but this, look at that bottle, this is, as unique as a bottle gets okay and these are very hard to find now luckily i have a bottle i cherish this i do not wear it every day this one also has the violet leaves i don't know what's up with the violet leaves very unique note this one also has some um, cardamom it has as far as my memory serves it had some mask uh, something i do not remember all the notes but it's kind of like a green uh, powdery spicy very uh, gentlemanly fragrance okay if you like lanoid alum like fragrances this is like really interesting twist on those um remains one of the most creative fragrances in my humble opinion okay if you give it a try you'll see it doesn't smell like 10 other perfumes and it really when people smell it on you they really think like you know this powdery fragrance is it creates an impact okay so lancome hypnos om that is number 10 so let's go from this side uh number 11 i have 15 fragrance right number 11 is another gelan this is the vintage batch okay um if you cannot find these you can find the modern formulation this is called gelan om lo boise uh, this one is the wooden cap they also have a plastic cap version these are all bottles okay and if you can find a uh, gelan oh man i think i dropped <laughs> sorry give me a second let me pick up the atomizer it fell off yeah i don't know what's up with that perhaps the cap sort of knocked it off now i put it back this is the sprayer this one's very hard to find. This one is a realistic mojito. Also got the mint, but it has a mojito vibe. It's a very playful, boozy perfume. Summer fresh, very long lasting. The newer version also is very good. Extremely long lasting. And these fragrances are affordable. Guerlain, niche quality house, okay? That mojito, you can get it from many fragrances, but something about Guerlain, they just stand out, you know? So, Lo Boise, Guerlain Homme Lo Boise in this list for sure. Number 11. Number 12 is a fragrance. This one will be actually a bit surprising to many of you because uh, this is from House of Versace. And people think like, oh, it's a mainstream house. It's a designer house. Their fragrances are very obvious. But what could be in this list, which is creative, which is unique? So there are quite a few. I would say Versace Man, Versace Ud Noir, quite interesting. But I find this perfume. I recently bought a backup bottle, which is there. It's an intact packet of Versace, The Dreamer. Uh, some of you will argue this is a very harsh perfume. You don't get tobacco from it. You don't get anything. It's just powdery, wet, and then weird smell. But I remember the day I actually got this, when I put it on my skin. Let me put some on my hand just to bring back memories. Absolute stunner. Absolute stunner. I actually find this fragrance more appealing than Lamal on me. Perhaps I haven't smelled the vintage Lamal. This is not actually Lamal that's similar but there's a tobacco note in there there's something like uh, dreamy about this perfume you know, it's like a very uh, different weird in a way 
uh, the fragrance just gets better and better over time you know, on skin. That's the best thing that Mark said. And that's why I love this perfume. Very simplistic bottle, but very elegant, okay? This is a fragrance. I would say if you're a fragrance enthusiast, you must have in your collection. It's very strong perfume, very loud. One of the best, longest lasting Versace ever made. One of the most creative Versace the Dreamer. <clears throat> now, next one, let's talk about something very uh, brand new or recent. Uh, this perfume house... I would be actually surprised, I'll tell you. I personally am surprised that this fragrance made this list because modern time, recent time, not many fragrances being released that we know of from designer's side that are very creative. This one actually achieved it and I actually had the bottle, I gave it away as a gift then I got it back because I was missing the smell. This is Philip Plain, No Limits. Okay, big thanks to Ashton for bringing this under limelight. This fragrance has a lot of notes, I don't remember, but I remember vividly this has leather. This has, let me check, I actually opened, I was looking at it. So they have quite a few notes. It has watery notes, black peppers, taranis, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, uh, ginger, bergamot. So you see, the all kind of notes are playing together. Chocolate, bourbon, vanilla, incense, amber, leather, wood, uh, wood actually, wood sea notes and cedar. I don't get so much wood from this per se, but what I get from this, I can tell you it's Another uh, similar experience like Diorome, Intense, Thierry Mugler, Amen, also some way Gucci Guilty Absolute, but not that much leather. It's not that leather heavy or animalic. Very lovable perfume. This is hands down the best designer fragrance out there in the market. You must try this. Must. Okay. And I really feel this fragrance deserves a lot more hype and love from people. Okay. No Limits by Philippe Plain. One of the most creative fragrances in my arsenal, just like the bottle. Next one. Thierry Mugler, pure malt, okay? Now, getting super rare to find, super expensive, already $150 mark, it's reaching. People are selling this for $150 or more. And very soon, it will be again $250 because they stopped producing this officially. You don't find this in Mugler website. Then the price will be actually around $65, but now very expensive. But that's not the reason why this is here. The whole concept of sort of like using a whiskey barrel or I don't know, they claim they did this, the processing to make this smell you know, boozy. They mixed with the original Amen uh, DNA and then they gave this sort of like a whiskey uh, vibe, right? It's okay. The process is interesting, but the way it smells, the creativity of this fragrance, something boozy that smells sweet, also chocolatey. Man, pure malt always remains a fragrance I never get bored of. Winter time, I wear this. Uh, this whole line, anything you pick are unique, okay? But I, I'm showing you today, pure malt. Definitely a must uh, collect in your collection. I must have in your collection if you just started collecting. It's an epic fragrance okay last but not least is another uh, last one is gonna be a surprise surprise as in like this fragrance you will not see coming and i would say sometimes underrated fragrances deserve credit this is one of them lolita lempica and this is not all masculine this is green lover okay green lover by lolita lempica look at the bottle you'll find the bottle to be a bit unique juice color is really nice green yellowish but this perfume when you smell this when you smell this you'll know what this is what's so good about this oh man the cap is so tight <laughs> Because I think I put tape because the cap was a bit loose. So I was dropping it. I put some tape. So, man, uh, in short, I can tell you uh, this fragrance kind of like, uh, oh, man, how do I put this back? Yeah. Okay. So this one, if you like Nishan as Ani, there is a lot of similarity with Ani in this, but there's a lot more citrusy lemon opening. And that lemon, it reminds me kind of like Edition Blanche by Chanel sometimes. So Edition Blanche meets sort of like Nishane Ani. This is what you get. Very candy-like, very sweet, very lemony, very long-lasting. And got this, I think, licorice also something in there. But this fragrance is standard. They've also got some vanilla, I think, in this. This is the one I would try out, collect uh, from this house. Lolita Olympic is a very interesting house. All masculine, all masculine is also unique, but this one is more wearable. Okay, so this is my last one. Lolita Olympica, Green Lover. So how many? do you have how many did you try what do you think of these fragrances and do suggest some unique fragrances for me to try so i can review them have a nice day thanks for watching love you all and i'll see you soon bye bye